Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be going over season 24 in Diablo 3, basically the info that you guys want. So really quick, uh, when is it starting and what are the newer changes? What's the new season all about? So it will be starting on July 23rd, this Friday at 5 p.m. And that's the exact same day that Path of Exile is also launching its new league. So very busy weekend for me for sure, but uh, that's pretty exciting. So anyways, what's new with this season? Um, let's go ahead and go over that. So the biggest changes are gonna be these new ethereal weapons. There's no seasonal theme, but with the ethereal weapons, it actually changes up the gameplay quite a bit. There are a few newer builds that have emerged, but basically you can play any build that you want to and just basically like do GR100 at most builds quite efficiently. What it comes down to is these new ethereal items. So here is uh, what they basically look like and what they do. Um, so they have a legendary power and on top of that, a passive that you'll always roll on the weapon randomly. You'll get a random legendary power and a random legendary uh, passive that you'll have for your class. And on top of that, they do, some of them have special abilities. If you guys want to know exactly what all of the ethereals do, I'll leave two videos down below because there's like two separate uh, changes that they did make with them. Uh, but what it comes down to is you get massive amount of damage. Like, like normally you'll have like up to plus like 10 as your max damage. You can get plus um, way, way higher. It like rolls basically at plus 100, but it can go even further depending on the class that you play. Uh, but if you want to learn more about what each ethereal does, it's just basically just a huge uh, bonus to your damage at the end of the day, um, which is awesome. And there's also legendary powers that can roll on like a one-handed weapon that would be for, let's say, a two-handed weapon, like a monk flying dragon is a pretty big one. Uh, but yeah, they also grant you maybe potentially some extra bonus crit chance and crit damage that you normally just wouldn't have uh, on a, a weapon. But that's the biggest changes. And the, again, if you guys want to learn more about what the heck these ethereals do, I'll link the video down below because it's a kind of a long video because there's so many for every single class. There's three. Um, but on top of that, these are going to be transmogs. So basically, if you uh, unlock all of the ethereals, you have to unlock all of them for every single class, you will be able to keep these ethereal skins. Uh, these ethereal weapons will not be permanent, meaning that at the end of the season, they will disappear. So keep that in mind as well. It's not like in Diablo 2 where if you had the ethereal and it would just break and then it would disappear. But on top of that, there's a few other things I want to mention. This was also mentioned in the uh, full blog post, which I'll link down below, but I'm just giving you guys like the info that you want to know about, like what's the rewards, what's the point of playing this season. So uh, there is the new Barbarian uh, Transmog. You guys can see it right over here. Now this is only available if you also purchase the Diablo 2 Resurrected, um, but these are the other rewards here. So this one, you don't have to purchase D2R, uh, but this one over here shows that there is the recycled uh, skin for the uh, wings. You can also see the portrait as well as the chest and the gloves over there. But on top of that, there is a new terror resurrected uh, portrait and lesser mummy that you can also obtain. These are the new new two cosmetics. These ones over here was from previous season, but this is pretty cool. I do really like that portrait frame and uh, with D2R, there is like the act two uh, lesser mummy pet that you guys can unlock. And on top of that, here are the sets that you'll be able to unlock with the Hadrix gift. So with Monk, we have the Uliana's uh, set demon hunter we got natalia's crusaders we got the seeker of light with wizard we have veers with barbarian we have the immortal kings with witch doctor we have the spirit of arachnir and with necromancer we got tragools i'm curious to know if you guys are planning to play this newest season season 24 what class do you plan to play at the start for me i'm definitely going to be going demon hunter barisa is actually really insane uh what the legendary power does basically you have um, a 35 percent chance to freeze and then the enemies that are frozen take 100 percent uh chance to be critted so you're always going to be critting as long as they are frozen which is huge um definitely gonna be rolling demon hunter at the start might mess around with the monk i've actually already got the monk gameplay of the new build if you guys want to see that that's the only new thing that really emerged out of this season and in terms of other patch notes over here we're just going to go over the things in red these are the newest patch notes uh and things that they'll be changing for this season so with uh mystic ally fire ally which is the meta build this is a nice little buff over here because this improves the fire ally ai because sometimes when you use it, it this is a, was a big problem it just didn't function 
It just would not like explode consistently. The AI would just run off sometimes or it would just stand still. And so this is gonna make this build a little bit better. And on top of that, it's actually getting two different buffs because if we go down here, this is another monk uh, fix where the mystic allies and their abilities now benefit from plus mystic ally damage, which I guess wasn't working. So this could make it even better than it already is. This build and the uh, wave of light are already pretty much gonna still be the best. There's nothing else that really emerges out of this other than those two builds, but both of those builds are going to be very strong. There is still a build with Shenlong, like Shenlong's is still a very viable build that's just because of the way that it buffs up the uh, damage. Uh, and on top of that, they fixed a bug where it didn't uh, trigger consistently while using Tempest Rush, so it's another buff at the end of the day for those builds. And then with Witch Doctor, they're also getting a buff with the Gidbin. It's plus 200% to all Voodoo skills, now properly benefits from the Fetish Psychophant. So that's a nice little change. Um, with the Rapid Strike over here, there's also another Monk buff. Um, so it's Spirit Spenders that teleport you while Epiphany is active are also mimicked on a nearby target with up to 450% increased damage for free. And if you're wondering, like, what is that weapon? That's what it looks like um, for a little bit of a reference. But if you guys do want to see the ethereals again, uh, check the pinned comment. I'll have those videos as well as there's a build where I tried basically having zero crit, but I rely on the new ethereal weapon to get all of the crit, which is really awesome. Uh, but that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the news. You guys can let me know down below what class you plan to play and what your thoughts are on this latest patch. There's no real seasonal theme, but these ethereals guys, they are really cool. And this is like your only chance to really check it out. So I highly recommend if you guys haven't maybe played Diablo in a while and you like playing some really weird build, this is definitely going to be a cool season because you can do a lot of things with these ethereals as the numbers are just so high. You can play your fan favorite, like uh, thing that's just not meta and you could still do relatively well with it but anyways that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up and if you guys are new here and this is your first time and you want to see more diablo and action rpg more gaming content make sure you guys just subscribe with the bell notification on and i'll see you guys in season 24 on diablo as well as path of exile like i said it's gonna be insane both of the games are getting their update and the same exact day but catch you guys in the next video have a good one and i'm signing out peace